why the narcissist gets bored of you. Why they lack interest in you. Why they become impatient and dissatisfied. The narcissist gets bored of you because they need you to be constantly focused on them. They need you to attend to them. Every engagement they have with you has to benefit them in some way. The spotlight always has to be on them. They have to feel like they are the center of attention and they expect you to provide them with constant entertainment to distract them from their feelings of boredom. When the narcissist interacts with you, they're not thinking about how they can entertain you. They're not thinking about how they can provide you with amusement and enjoyment. Narcissists are self-absorbed. They only care about their own feelings and needs. And they lack empathy, so they cannot share your experience. Which means that providing you with entertainment is not going to benefit them in any way. It's just going to bore them. It's going to make them lack interest in you. When if a normal person invests their time and energy into something, it would spike their interest. It would make them want to know more about it. But the more time the narcissist spends with you, the more dissatisfied they become. They need everything to be about them. They need everything to revolve around their interests. They see you as an object that exists to serve them. They believe that you should provide them with constant entertainment. They don't think that they should have to do anything that you like. Anything that is outside of their interests will bore them. They also don't like it when you are happy and contented. It makes someone to cause disruption. Because their minds are never at rest. They never feel at peace with themselves. But if they can cause chaos and drama, it regulates their emotions. It provides them with a sense of stability and security. When they see that you're happy, it irritates them. Which is why they have to cause problems for you. They don't want a normal, functional relationship. That's boring to the narcissist. They thrive in dysfunctional environments. If things are going well, they will deliberately do something to create obstacles, to prevent progress, because if it progresses, they feel like they're being left behind. Anything that is progressive would only reflect on their deficiencies, which is why they have to push back. They have to buy time 
because otherwise it would expose their lack of development. Which is why a relationship will never work with a narcissist. A healthy relationship is a threat to them. It threatens to expose their true nature. Which is why they have to divert your attention to something else. They have to act like there's something wrong. Because then it takes the focus off of them. It makes you think that there is another reason why your relationship cannot progress. As though it's something that you are responsible for. You may think that if the narcissist is bored. All you have to do is give them more attention. But that just makes the situation even worse. Because having a relationship partner who loves and cares for them and gives them praise and compliments will only bore the narcissist in the end. It will only cause them to lack interest in you. Because they like it when things are unpredictable. They like not knowing what's going to happen. They would rather be on an emotional roller coaster than having something that's stable and secure, which is why they feel compelled to cause drama and chaos, which is why you feel like you can't make anything work with them. Because when things are going right, that becomes the problem. But when the situation goes to shambles, you may realize that there's actually no problem at all because they're quite comfortable in that type of environment. It allows them to get their needs met. It makes them feel better. When everything is perfect, that is when you will see the real problem. That is when they will act out. Because they cannot function in those situations. They need something to be wrong, so that they don't have to feel like there's something wrong with them. because they were never looking for a relationship. They were looking for a distraction. They were looking for something to divert their attention from their inner turmoil. Which is why they always have to push and provoke you. Because they want you to react to them. So that they can then point the finger at you and blame you for everything. They want you to resist them so that they can then try to win you over so that they can use it to feed their ego. They don't want you to be accommodating or understanding because that's boring to the narcissist. It's no fun. Which is why they have to keep poking at you. Just to see how far they can take it. Just to see what you're willing to put up with. It's a game. And to them it's amusing. It keeps them entertained. And they can also see that it keeps you hooked because they know that you're a good person. They know that you're always going to try to fix things. They know that you're always going to try to make things right. Which is exactly what they want. They want all of your attention to be on them.
They don't want your help. But they want you to try to help them. They want to see how far they can take it. It makes them feel special and important. It gives them supply. And nothing is more fun for the narcissist than extracting supply from you. But they cannot extract supply when everything is normal. They have to stir up trouble. They have to create problems. Because that keeps you focusing on them. That keeps you trying to fix everything. Which then makes them feel like there's something significant. It makes them feel like they matter to someone. But if you're not going to do that, they will get bored of you very quickly. They will give you the sign-in treatment or they will discard you. Because it's no longer amusing to them when you stop playing their game. That's when the fun ends. That's when it's game over for the narcissist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.